Well, this channel needs more spears, don't you think? So I did a little test. I've got three pointy sticks right here. First one is a javelin made by Arms and Armor. And this here is a lot thinner and lighter than an actual fighting spear would be. So this is really just a javelin, um, almost kind of like a dart. Then we have this spear point here made by BKS. And I just put it on a temporary shaft. I need to find something better. This is a little on the short side. And then we have this one here, which is made by Windless of a long cutting spear. If you remember that one sparring video in which I uh, did the surprise spear throw at my opponent, a lot of people were skeptical about that and said that this wouldn't hurt someone wearing armor. And, uh, well, as I pointed out, if my opponent was wearing, say, full, a full suit of plate armor, of course I wouldn't throw the spear. However, if there was, say, a Gambeson or Akaton or, you know, some other kind of, you know, pretty stiff padded uh, garment that is actually pretty damage resistant. So I set up this target here, consisting of four layers of cardboard and on top some ballistic gel. This is the tough 20% type that I've been using. And uh, this here is very hard to cut and stab into. Much harder than the regular 10% ballistic gel that you normally find. And on top of that, a yoga mat. Because, well, <laughs> that's what I have lying around. The uh, cardboard it comes to a thickness of, looks like, yeah, 30 millimeters. And the ballistic gel is about mm, 16, 17 millimeters thick. Does vary a little bit, so it probably varies somewhere between 15 and 20, I'd say. And then, well, the yoga mat is pretty thin. It's not really that much. It's like three millimeters, so that really doesn't add much. So overall, the target is about 45 millimeters thick or one and three quarter inches. And this stuff here is actually tougher than real flesh, at least as far as soft tissue is concerned. Bones are, of course, a different matter. But um, this is definitely harder to penetrate. And um, I didn't actually measure the penetration depth on each throw because I just wanted to see if it gets through this. Because if it gets through all of these layers, it would do significant damage. And then on top of that, I don't have an actual gambeson that I'm willing to destroy, but um, I got some burlap here. And those are eight layers of burlap that I folded. Um, it's, of course, not the same material as the padding in a gambeson, but it is also pretty tough material. And for the outer layers, this is something that one of my viewers sent me, uh, the sleeves that he cut off a leather jack that he didn't need anymore. So um, this here is... I'd say a reasonable approximation of a gambeson. It's not quite the same, but it's definitely pretty thick. It's very sturdy. And this is really tough to get through. <clears throat> With a downward thrust like this, I can get through. But as you can see, it's not that far. Okay. There we go. I'm pretty sure that real flesh, soft tissue, this would penetrate further, unless it's stopped by a bone, of course. So that should give you an idea. Okay, and now with the armor, this should be significantly harder. Yeah, as you can see, nowhere near through. And I only got, 
Yeah, I think I only got into the padding. <clears throat> yeah, this is really not much. Let me see here. Yeah, it did get through the padding, but not very far. This is this is really all. This is like one. Yeah, it's not even quite my thumbnail, so <laughs> this is really not very deep. Of course, it would hurt, but <laughs> this is not exactly a substantial injury. <clears throat> and this, yeah, this is a little more. It's not too bad, but still really not that far. So the padding definitely does its job and I'm putting quite a bit of power into this. Let me just give it my best shot here. <clears throat> All right, that was pretty good. And I got, let me see. All right, not too bad. So this is about, I'd say five centimeters, maybe, of penetration. So again, the idea is in a historical one-on-one -on -one duel, if one of the two fighters manages to pull off this quick spear throw to catch his opponent off guard, and if he hits, would that be a potentially fatal hit? Uh, even if the other guy wears a gambeson or, or other, other similar padded armor. And uh, I'd say if it can pass through all of this and the padding as well, yeah, you have a chance for a potentially fatal wound. Not even close. I think that would, would have been completely harmless to a canvas and wear. Well, that is impressive. Went through the entire thing, including the cardboard. So yes, this would definitely injure somebody in a gambeson. So this throw went almost all the way through. It pierced the leather, the burlap, the uh, ballistic gel, and most of the cardboard it seems, because I can tell that it's almost penetrated through all the layers. So yes, this would be an injury for sure. This one went too far to the side, so it bypassed most of the leather. And this throw went all the way. There's quite a bit of the point sticking out here. So yes, that would even have penetrated a thicker gambeson or other padded armor. So I expected the long bladed spear to do a bit better simply because of the additional mass. And yes, that appears to be the case. Here's the blade of the long spear and the other point has not penetrated all the way. 
Of course, there's always going to be some variation from throw to throw, but it seems to me that that's a general tendency. This time the thin javelin penetrated a bit better, but that's mainly because it hit high, so and at kind of an angle, so I think it bypassed a lot of the padding. But even so, it just didn't achieve that much penetration.